I like that preacher. That little teacher, he, he wouldn't go against his conviction, Sister Sam. And there is a difference between condemnation and conviction. Yes. Yes. You see, when I got convicted, I came to the Lord. Jesus said, I didn't come into the world to condemn the world, but to save them. The Bible says in Matthew 6 and 24, it says, No man can serve two masters. For either he will love the one and hate the other, or he will cling to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and man. We've got to make a choice. Yep. Joshua said, For me and I think it was Joshua said, For me and my house will serve the Lord. Yeah. Choose you this day. Make a choice today, church. We're fixing to go places. You can ride along with us if you want. Are y'all ready? You Man. know what we got to do? God's ready. I'm telling you, I'm not standing up here trying to... I wouldn't tell you something from behind it. I wouldn't tell you something sitting in my seat in this precious place. And it'd be something that I didn't know was a fact. Amen. But God is waiting on us. And I'm telling you, it, He's got a great work. He's got a, he's got a great thing that He's wanting to do. He's already got the plan set. Amen. We just got to get with His plan. Yeah. Do it His way. Yeah. One thing I like about Brother Derek, see, it don't matter what nobody says or nobody thinks. He gonna do what God told him to. Amen. And that's a good thing. Man. It's good that he's willing to do what God would have him to do. Ain't it good that we set up under a preacher, yes. a pastor? that is willing to do it God's way. Amen. Not the way that somebody else thinks he ought to handle it. Not the way that somebody else thinks he ought to go away about doing it. Not the way that... It's not even the way that he wants to do it. But he'll do it God. I know there's been times he's willing to preach and turn me loose. And you know, if you get the preacher's itch, you know, you all know what I'm talking about. When you get the preacher's itch, you can't sit still. But yet he'd back up. Say, okay, God, you have your way. I'd be sitting back there and just couldn't wait. He told me, come on, Brother John. I remember one time, just a little bit late. I didn't think he was going to. So I got up, got to the back door, held my Bible and made sure he seen me. He said, come on, Brother John. I'm going to tell you to anyway. Amen. I'm not saying this because Derek and Sanders here. But I'm saying it because it's the truth. We have a good pastor. We have good a pastor's life. We have a good people to send them. Yes. You know, sometimes, you know, I'm an evangelist. I say, well, I'll never see you go. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm an evangelist. And sometimes people say, well, why don't we just visit? But you know, yeah, I'm a little bit, what do you call it, uh, partial to my church. I find it hard to find a place where God dwells like He dwells right here. I mean that, y'all. Yeah. I mean, I'm saying, y'all might, y'all, you know, I'm just saying, the candlesticks here. I mean, I know there's other churches. I know we ain't the only one, only, somebody said pumpkin on the vine. I know that. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. But I like coming here because I like what I feel. It's yeah. real. The people here are real. There's love here. Mm -hmm. And there's obedience here. Yes. You know, there's sometimes me and Sister Sandra get a little rebellious and we don't do what we're supposed to do. Like, tell him to stand up, you know. If she'd have just done that, y'all, I'd have stood up. I'll blame her for it. <laughs> no, we can't blame anybody for not doing what God would have us to do. No one. We can't even blame the devil. Not for that one. Mm -hmm. I mean, of course, he's going to try to intimidate us make us feel bad about ourselves, make us feel like nobody loves us or nobody cares and we're the only person left in the world. I know another man that thought that one time too. A great prophet of God thought he was the only one left. And God said, oh, i got 7,000 more. Yep. That's right. You ain't the only pumpkin on the vine. Amen. I got some more. So you see, we're, there's more for us than there are against us. Ain't that what I'm saying? Amen. You know, did you know something? You and God are the majority. Amen. Yes. And sometimes I have to remind myself of that, Sister Sandra. God and me are the, are the majority, regardless of what everybody else thinks about it. I don't preach because I think I can or because I necessarily feel I preach because I got it. 
It's my call. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and sometimes there's times that I just want to say, Brother David, you know what? You can go ahead. <laughs> Tonight he said, Brother are you ready? And I said, I'm ready. I'm ready. And he said, well, I'm fixing to call you up. No, 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 not yet. <laughs> Wait, son. I said, Sister Sandra. She said, you already ready? I said, well, I know I am, you know, but I'm so nervous I just can't. Argue. I thought I was going to throw up. <laughs> I told this to Penny. I said, honey, I think I'm going to throw up. I said, I'm so nervous. I said, well, Nick Sanders get up there and sing, pump us up, pump us up a little bit. And then she said, but you already ready. I said, yeah, I know that. But you know, it helps to get the spirit moving and it kind of calms me down a little bit. <laughs> but you know what? We, got, we all listen to God. We ought to obey God. Right, amen, amen, amen. <laughs> we ought to obey God rather than man. Listen to what he said in Psalms 24. And three and four, it says, Who shall ascend unto the hill of the Lord? That means who's going to go there? Or who shall stand in his holy place? Verse four says, He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, yep. who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity or iniquity, but sworn to seek. Clean hands and a pure heart. Y'all know what that means? That means we've got to get everything out of the tent. Yep. That don't mean wash your soul with bowel. Or coast. That means wash your hands with the blood of Jesus. Yep. The clean hands. We have to have clean hands and a pure heart. And not lift up our souls into iniquity. And you know the devil's out there to all of us. All kinds of pleasures, temptations, and things of this sort. But you know if we stay prayed up, stay caught up with the Lord. Amen, brother. That's the thing that we all do. Because if we do it God's way, we're doing it the right way. Can y'all say amen? Amen. amen. I appreciate you. I really do, y'all. Y'all are a, a good, good audience. You really are. Bless the Lord.